Maybe I should be wearing safety goggles. On Wednesdays, we do crafts. Hi there, it's Barbara Anna, and today I will be attempting to make drinking glasses out of beer bottles. I've seen this on Pinterest and have always wanted to try it, so let's see if it actually works. What you will need is empty beer bottles, pure acetone, a glass to put the acetone in, yarn, scissors, sandpaper, a lighter, and this is optional. This is a glass cutter that's actually supposed to be used for mosaics, but I read that it can scratch the glass and it will help the breaking process. You're also going to need a big tub of ice water. I am going to use the kitchen sink, so let's go get started. Okay, so now I have my sink filled with ice cold water. I have already cut off my yarn and measured it to fit perfectly around where about I want the bottle to be cut, and I'm soaking that in acetone. What I'm going to do next is take my yarn out of the acetone, and you want the yarn to be even all the way around because where the yarn is is where the glass will hopefully be cut. Okay, so now I'm going to light it on fire. So please, please, please be careful with this step because it does involve fire and acetone is very flammable. And I'm just going to twist the bottle around to make sure that all sides of the bottle are evenly hot. And now I'm going to submerge it in the water. And it works! Woo! So there's what one looks like. The edges are quite sharp and a little uneven. That's what the sandpaper is for, so we'll sand those down after. Alrighty, so again, I'm just going to take my acetone-covered yarn, and I'm going to slip it onto the bottle. And this one kind of cut really close to the label, so I'm going to try to go slightly higher, because I would really like all of the label to be on the glass. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, oh, this one broke a little differently. This part came off as well as this. So this one broke into three separate pieces. I don't know why, but it did. And I'm just gonna do the same exact thing again. So I put it on the bottle, light it on fire. I just keep twisting the bottle around to make sure that the heat is distributed evenly. And then I stick it in the water. Oh, this one started to break kind of in the two sections as well. Do be careful because they're not all coming off super evenly. And this one obviously has some cracks in it and I don't want anyone to get cut. I did read that Corona was one of like the better beer bottles to do this with. Just because the way that their label is put on. Not as like papery thin as some of the other beers. Also, clear glass bottles, I heard were also easier to do. So maybe I just lucked out when picking Corona. Alrighty, so I have my bottle with the acetone yarn already on it. So I'm just gonna put it on fire. And I twist the bottle. And I haven't really been timing how long I keep the fire on, but no more than a couple of seconds, maybe 15. And then I just put it in the water. And it breaks apart just like that. Easy peasy. Also, another note, you might want to take all your nail polish off your fingers before doing this because acetone is nail polish remover and it will ruin your manicure. Okay, so now I have my beer bottles cut and I'm just going to sand down the edges to make sure that they're not super sharp so no one cuts themselves while drinking. So I have my sandpaper. And I'm just going to take it, hold it, and go around the edge like this. I do notice that this one is cracked going down the side, so unfortunately we could not use this one just because it's more likely to break and leak. So unfortunately one of our four did not work out, but that's okay. I'll just move on to sanding this one. I have now sanded down all of the edges and they are ready to be used as drinking glasses. I am unbelievably impressed about how these turned out. I really thought at the beginning of this video that it would just be total trial and error with me putting the glasses in the water and taking them out and there'd be no difference, but I am so overwhelmingly impressed. These came out great. My expectations were so low, um, but they really came out fantastic. 
this would be a really great thing to do after a big party where you're just gonna recycle your glasses anyway and I think this would turn out to be a really good new home gift especially people around my age it'd be really cool to have beer drinking glasses especially if the person that you want to give these to are a beer drinker maybe you could make it with their favorite beers again corona stickers apparently stay on the best for washing I wouldn't dishwasher them anyway but definitely hand washing gently so the link that I found out how to do these which I got from Pinterest will be down below and if you guys try them out please tweet me or Instagram me pictures let me know how it comes out let me know if different color glass comes out differently or if I don't know I just have some magical powers that I got it to work because I really didn't expect it to so please follow me on Twitter Instagram Tumblr Pinterest all of that fun stuff and have a very, very happy and safe New Year's. And I'll see you guys next week. Stay excellent. Bye. Um, ooh, that was a little sharp.